Our most gracious, kind, loving Heavenly Father, thank you so much Lord for the night rest, and thank you for waking us up in this beautiful morning. Thank you for the sunshine that give us new hope O Lord. As we open our devotion this morning may thy Holy Spirit will help us understand thy word O Lord God. Please forgive our shortcomings Father God. This we ask in the most precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. I never knew you. There are Christians today who work for the Lord, but are not actually walking with the Lord. They are so busy doing all the things that they want to do for God, that they don't stop and ask, Lord, what do you want me to do? Some are so ensconced in their work that they forget all about who they are actually doing it for. Working for Christ can easily become a business that's focused on self. Perhaps they love the praise received for being so faithful and good at what they do, which motivates them to do even more. Or they're addicted to the power of holding a church office, one that has allowed them to do everything their way or they love the respect and recognition they receive for being such godly leaders. Anytime ministry becomes all about you, and not about God, you are no longer working for God, but for yourself. The Bible makes it very clear that our salvation depends on our obedience to God. Matthew seven twenty one through 23 says, Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name and cast out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. It is critically important that we are doing what God wants us to do if you're not getting your assignments from God, then he actually calls it sin. We could be passing out literature, feeding the homeless, or taking clothes to the poor, which are all good things to do. But unless God told us to do them, it is for nothing. In fact, on the day of judgment, he will say, I never knew you. It doesn't get more serious than that. The only way to know what God wants you to do is to live a life with absolute devotion and dependence on Him. Pray for Holy Spirit guidance, and He will lead, guide, and direct your every step. <music>